that's the most likely way you're going to die. Old age, sickness, accident, or murder. Getting hit by a car, maybe dying of cancer, old age, or murder. Which one? All right, I'll check that. Most, I think most people would. You know what I mean? For sure. I mean, check this out, man. Here's a follow-up for you. All right. Well, you're, well, you're definitely in the news. Okay. How many people would be at your funeral? If you died right now, how many people would come to your funeral? You think? I think a lot. A hundred or two hundred? Okay. Okay, here's the next one. If God judged you, would he judge you as a good guy or a bad guy? I think he did. I've done some good Okay. Here's some of the commandments. Have you ever lied? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's not good, right? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever stolen anything? Uh, Never stolen. Even did you ever cheat on a test? Well, yeah, but I, yeah, that's the that's the only yeah, really. Yeah. You're taking somebody else's answers to get those that are right, you know. Now this one says you should commit adultery. You just said if you had, if you ever looked at a woman to lust after her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. Have you ever? Yeah. Okay, busted. I think most men are busted on that one. Murder. And Jesus said if you hate somebody, that you're a murderer in your heart. He goes that you can. Have you ever hated anybody before? I like bad. Okay, sure, sure. Blasphemy. Do you think you've ever used God's name in vain, like blasphemy his name, like God, D A M N, or O N G? Or? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, sure. I think most of us. So, by your admission, I'm not judging you, just going by what you told me. You're a liar, a thief, an adulterer, maybe, and a blasphemer. So, if he judged you by all this, would you be guilty or innocent? Yeah, and so would I, absolutely. So, if you're guilty, where does God send you? Does he send you to heaven or hell? No. Right. Well, how do you get out? How do you not go there? What do you, what's got to happen? Good question, isn't it? Because we all die. I mean, I die, he dies. That's the only thing guaranteed in life is death. So if you're if you're concerned, man, God doesn't want to send you to hell, but he's just. Like a good judge is going to punish somebody that murders or rapes or something like that. He's going to punish us that lie, that steal, that commit adultery. What he did is he sent Jesus to die on the cross for us so that we can go free. So we repent and we put our faith and trust in Jesus to save us. He'll not only take us all of our sins away, but he'll make you and me holy at the same time. So when we, we go, we'll be innocent in the sight of God and not go to hell, but go to heaven. That's the good news. It's a free gift. And you can't earn it. You can't pay for it. You can't do enough good works. Your good deeds can't outweigh your bad deeds. It's only by trusting in Jesus alone. Does that make sense? You believe that, man? What do you think you need to do? Trust Jesus. Trust him like you would have. Like if me and you were on the top of this building right here, and um, they said, hey, man, we're going to throw you off, but we're going to give you a chance to live if you put this parachute on. The guy said, we're going to push you off. we got guns. We're holding you at gunpoint. We're going to push off this building right here. Would you put the parachute on? Yeah. Or so would I. And that's the same way with Christ. Man. We have to put him on and trust him. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, man, there's nothing more important than your soul. Your soul's precious to me. You know what I mean? Make sure that, you know, when you get a chance to trust him, man, you know, nothing, nothing more... You can gain the whole world and lose your soul if you don't have Jesus. You know? All right, man. Thanks for talking to me for a quick yeah, second, my brother. Absolutely. You take care, bud.